Welcome to part two of how I build my sticker spinners. I use a Lazy Susan, some cardboard or foam core, a blank panel, a piece of MDF board, hot glue, and these hella strong magnets. I get my MDF from Home Depot. I get the quarter inch thick two by four panel. I get them to cut it for me to 12 by 12 inches. I spray paint my bases to match my branding, then I seal them with two coats of matte clear enamel. This is absolutely optional. While that dries, I'll get the Lazy Susan ready. Since the inside is hollow, I cut foam down to fill it for stability. Two layers is perfect. Once I get them cut to size, I hot glue them in place. Like I said in the last video, almost all the materials I use are available on Amazon. List link is in my bio. Once the baseboard sealant coat is dry, I measure in on each side of the board to make sure that the Lazy Susan is centered. This is going to make it stable. If it's off balance, there's more of a chance of it tipping over for no reason, as opposed to somebody spinning it too fast. Then I hot glue the crap out of it to secure it to the bottom baseboard. It's really amazing how sturdy hot glue is. I'm redoing an older spinner and I really had to pry with all my strength to get it to come off. I put matching washi tape on the base and the panel to make it easier to attach them during setup. Now we'll adhere the magnets. These bad boys are so freaking strong and it's really what holds all of this together. I lay out four magnets on the panel. The adhesive foam they come with is pretty strong, but I hit them with a little hot glue to make sure they're really not gonna come off. I flip the panel over and toss the magnets onto the panel in the areas I know I put on the other side. They're strong enough that they will line up on top of the other magnets. I could place them gently, but that isn't as fun. I put the adhesive on these magnets and flip over the panel. I line up the washi tape on the same side and center the panel over the base, pushing down to make sure they stick to the board. I hit them with some hot glue to secure them, and once the glue dries, they're ready. To add a bit more stability, I do reinforce the panel with some like really strong duct tape. I make sure that I can see the magnets on the panel and then start building up my spinner. I want that thin piece of vinyl between the magnets on the panel and the base. It makes the adhesive last longer and the magnets won't accidentally pull off when you take it apart when you break down. I build my spinners three panels high and then matching the washi tape on the base and the bottom panel, I attach it to the base. Make as many as you need or have space for. I hope that these were helpful and thank you for watching. Also follow for more Artist Alley tips.